My name is Steve Kiley. I founded Design Works in 1995. Last June, we celebrated our 25th anniversary. We served the commercial transportation industry, and then most recently, we've moved into the aerospace industry. We design and build the power conversion system and the accessory power system for hybrid public transportation buses. And now that we've gotten into the aerospace parts, we're doing for commercial and military avionics. We're currently working on this next generation hybrid bus and we're evaluating options right now through high speed machining that we're able to do on the UMC 500s as comparison to making and paying for a casting tooling up front. What we're doing is we're starting with a solid bullet of material and machining it completely and because of the high speed machining we can ultimately remove the material so quick that it offsets the benefit of the material reduction in the casting while providing the integrity of a wrought part versus a cast part. With the UMC, what we end up doing is we're actually building five sides of the part. So that allows us to get to five out of the six sides that we need to build. There's also five axis work that needs to go into that part. There are ledges with radiuses in between that you otherwise can't build without the five axis capability. Um, once we leave that machine, we go into the EC400 where we have to build very deep cavities. The EC400 where it's a horizontal allows us to be able to mill those cavities without having chip evacuation problems and things like that. You can use the through spindle coolant that's offered with the EC400 to be able to remove those chips and get extra coolant to your tool in those deep cavities where you need it. In the UMC, that part is about a three and a half hour cycle. Um, like I said, we're able to cover five sides of it. And then on the EC400, it's about a two hour cycle to be able to hog it out and get all that material removed from there. When we're using the high speed machining, I like to use a G187 followed with a P value. Um, I actually learned about that off of the Haas tip of the day. Um, using the P value, if the lower that p-value is, the further ahead you're able to look. It makes it so it's not going to slow down for certain radiuses the way it would when it's finishing. So what it allows us to do is be able to read the code just a little bit faster, meaning the machine is going to move a little bit faster. Making it so I can run at higher speeds and feeds with less step over and be able to push through the part that much quicker. We went into the pandemic with 70 employees. Um, a lot of those people were unable, unable to come back and that forced our hand to look at how to do more with less. And we did that by combining operations in the UMC 750s and 500s, as well as the EC400. And we are now back out of the pandemic and we're in the strongest position we've ever been in. 5X machining centers allow us to combine the operations. Once we've done that, we minimize the tolerance from loading and reloading parts and that makes our quality better and we're able to make much more accurate parts. Over the last four years, we, we have been selected by a supplier of the year by the power and propulsion team of BAE Systems. And we've done that because we've been able to increase our external quality into the 99.94% range and our delivery uh, into the 99.1%. And we're doing that by improving our first pass yield through the factory. We, we were running at about 1.75% first pass yield, and we've been able to drive that down to almost 1% now, which is truly a world-class number.